na mtazamaji siku ya kuwakumbuka watoto na randa randa ovyo mitaani iliadhimishwa leo kote duniani huku wadau wakielezea wasiwasi kuhusu ongezeko la idadi ya watoto hao kwa mujibu wa hesabu ya watu wa mwaka 2019 familia zinazoishi mitaani ni takriban 1047 ambapo kuna watoto 1015 wa umri wa chini ya miaka 19 kulingana na Evelyn Atinga ambaye ni mhudumu wa jamii serikali inastahili kutenga fedha za kufadhili mikakati ya kuzuia watoto kurandaranda mitaani Jacqueline Masharia na taslifu kamili Ni saa kumi na moja na nusu alfajiri tunapofika katika eneo la Riverside jijini Nairobi One day I wanna make it a better place for everyone on my side always Jina lake ni Pablo Akipiga darubini nyuma mitaa ya jiji hili imekuwa makazi yake kwa muda mrefu. Mimi kujipata kwa hii system ya street street life eh? ni mpango tu ya Mungu. Mimi sikuwa nimepanga ni kwa hapa lakini nimejipata nikajua kuna something Mungu ana try ku, ku bring out out of this street life. Pablo ni miongoni mwa zaidi ya watu 1046 ambao kulingana na shughuli ya kuhesabu watu ya mwaka 2019 huishi mitaani katika kaunti zote 47. Maisha ya mitaani ni magumu na wengi wangependa kubadili mazingira. Mvua ikinyesha kwa na kuanga tafu napata zone ya ku park ndio lale na kuwa ngumu napata area yote ni maji you unaona know? so lazima utafute place kumejificha sana na huku place mingi kuna kwa kumefungwa huwezi pata tika yard penye unaweza tulia na usinyeshewe kama vile tunaweza patana na wewe ni kuambie aunty mbaye chakula eh na wewe uniambie toka hapa kitoto hii aenda kwenu <laughs> na kini mimi nasema eh Mungu najua hujanisahau. Hata ukiangalia watu wengi hapa nguo na viatu ndio shida. Wengine wamevariaringanisha. Hata kama ni chakula mtakuwa tu mnatuletea tuwezi kataa. Licha ya changamoto wanazopitia vijana hawa bado wanazidi kuchikakamua wakiwa na tumaini kwamba ipo siku kilio chao kitasikika. <tos> Kina ni kwamba licha ya wengi wao kutaka kubadili mazingira baadhi yao huwa na msukumo wa kutaka kurejea mitaani baada ya kupewa makazi for you to see that child in the street something ought to have happened within the family so there's this reintegration and the issue to deal with the, uh, the financial issues you know the economic situation within the family needed to be dealt with before we end to the street kulingana na kasisi Renato Kizito ambaye ni mwanzilishi wa kituo cha kijamii cha Koinonia ambacho kimewapa makazi watoto wa kurandaranda mitaani na shule katika maeneo kadhaa humo nchini kushughulikia masuala yanayochangia kuishi mitaani ndio njia bora ya kuzuia kuongezeka kwa idadi ya watoto wa kurandaranda mitaani kote nchini But look at the children around you look at the children look at them they only need help sometimes a little help because if we help them before they fall into that big hole that is the, the use of drugs and so on Jacqueline Masharia nikiripotia Darubini